superficial and I don't just care about their appearance. True, but if there's intimacy on the table, what would be a reason for a man to say no? So if there's a very beautiful... Sex means more to them than just instant gratification. But sex, well, sex is instant gratification in the moment. Yeah, exactly. So maybe, so maybe sex is more to them. Exactly. So we as... Okay, for, for example, as a Muslim man, um, myself, like, or, or in Muslim men in general, for the, in, in this story as well, that no just because a woman dresses up in a certain way or tries it with me or wants to, it's not that I'm married or it's not that, uh, it's because I believe that God exists and I know that that is a sin and I would, abs I would abstain from that. So as Muslim men, we are taught that we should respect women regardless of how they behave. A woman could come and try to be flirtatious with me or touch, touch, but as a man, I should know better. It shouldn't be, oh, she's moving like an HOE and I'm going to treat her like an HOE. I feel like that's not the reality though. True, but we say that's why religion is so important. That's how men should be. And in today's time, men are not like that. Men I feel are just. like religion can be quite oppressive. It can, but there's a misconception. What do you mean by oppressive? Like, women can't do anything. They have to cover themselves. They have to live good. a certain way. They, okay, good. They can't do this. They can't do that. They can't learn anything in school. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I would say as Muslims, a woman has a right to study, a woman has a right to work. My wife actually, I have to protect, I need to, I pay for all the bills in the house. And not only that, if she has money, I cannot touch her money. And when I married her, I had to pay her a dowry, by the way. Do you know what a dowry is? I can't remember. Okay, so basically, when I married her, she can have, she can say, I want 5,000 pounds, 3,000, that's her right. So, Islam gives these rights. Now, you said that, for example, that a woman cannot dress up how they want to dress. I disagree with this in this sense. Do you believe that a woman chooses to dress up half naked? Does she choose or is it societal pressures, the beauty industry, other women, the opposite gender that play a role in her dressing up in that way? Maybe all of that or maybe she's just at the beach. Okay, true, but even if she's at the beach, yeah, the point I'm saying is there are things that are in play that are influencing our decision-making factors. So you, you might... say that about everyone. True, true. So for example, as a Muslim, for example, for a Muslim woman, she covers up because God Almighty told her to. Me as a Muslim man, by the way, I have to cover up as well. I'm not allowed to wear certain clothes, for example. I need to cover from my belly button to my knee. So when I go swimming, I can't go topless necessarily. So I do that. Why? Because God told me to. Now, you also follow a set of laws as well. So you follow the laws of your society, liberalism, capitalism. So are you necessarily choosing, for example, how long did it take you to get ready today? Uh, oh, be honest though, yeah? 30 minutes. Maybe. Okay, 30 minutes. Why did you not just leave the house? Like, I'm doing basic, obviously brush your teeth and all that kind of stuff. But why does it take a woman so many hours putting fake eyelashes, lipstick, makeup, hair, clothes, dress? Why do they find the need to do that? I mean, and I isn't was... that oppressive? No. Really? Do I you... don't think so. I mean, I was wearing a red onesie when I got out of bed and I looked kind okay. of disgusting. No, why? I feel more confident when I put makeup on. I think makeup was invented probably because okay. women need to be more beautiful. Or okay, whatever. good. And These are the beauty standards. Misogynistic things and beauty okay. standards are really bad. Thank you. Thank you. Media, good. That. But I do like wearing makeup, but that's okay. just because I feel ugly. But maybe why that's you... because of something else. What's your name, sister? Sorry, I forgot. Macy. Macy. Why do you feel ugly? Why are you made to feel... You're, look, every person because is beautiful. Standards in their are so high. That is my point. But that's the reality. But, but Macy, do you not think that's oppressive? I believe that is the biggest form of oppression that a woman are made to feel uglier and that they feel like they cannot leave the house without looking uh, wearing makeup. You know, there was a study done. You know when we used to wear masks because of COVID? There were women who were carrying on wearing the masks because they didn't want to be judged by the way they look. So, thank you. Look, wow. You did that as well, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Look, why did you do that? Because it's the, that's why I say it's oppressive. I Maybe you're just insecure, I don't know. No, but why should you? Do you know where this is stemming from? The standards of the beauty that's given the plastic surgery industry, the beauty industry, Kim Kardashian, all these people are having an impact on you and making you feel that you need to look a certain way, otherwise you feel ugly. Yeah, no, but at the same time you That's oppressive. It. No, no, it's true. No, okay, yeah, you can dub it for your husband. You can do that for your husband or your that's boyfriend. Not what yeah? I'm talking about. I mean for like, yourself oh. in general. Okay. Girls love watching girly shows and seeing girly True. things and then they want to go home and do it themselves. That's right. But the thing is though, it has an oppressive outcome on the woman because I believe that it's oppression. It's indirectly making you feel that there's a standard you need to meet, which is rigged and you can never reach it. And you are made to feel that so much so that you was wearing a COVID mask just so you're not judged by the way you look. That is the biggest form of oppression. Can I recommend a book for you? It's called Beauty Sick. 
you have to read it. It's actually very good. So that's why when it comes to oppression with a Muslim woman and non-Muslim woman, the difference is the following. One is told how to dress by the creator. The other one is told how to dress by the creation. Do you get it? And we just want to follow the creator. And the same with me. I'm told how to dress. I'm told I need to pray. So there's things I have to do as well. Yeah, but Macy, it was really nice talking to you. You're a very... Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free. And this video will be up on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice day. My name is Ali Dawa. A-L-I space D-A-W-A-H. Thank you, sister. It's a pleasure. And all the best with your happiness. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know.